I'm going to be answering a question from the 2005 AP Calculus test. So the question says, the tide removes sand from San Sandy Point Beach at a rate modeled by the function r. Given r of t equals 2 plus 5 sine of 4 pi t over 25. A pumping station adds sand to the beach at a rate modeled by the function s. Given by s of t equals 15 t over 1 plus 3 t. Okay, so part of A is at, or part A is asking how much sand will the tide remove from the beach during this six hour period and we need to indicate the units of measure. So since R is giving the rate at which sand is being pumped onto the beach, we need to take the integral of R to find the actual amount of sand. So we're gonna be doing So we can put this into our calculator for y1, we'll put r of t. So 2 plus 5 sine of 4 pi x over 25. Okay, so now we'll use the math function to find the integral. 0 to 6, since it's at t equals 6, and we can use y1 since we already put the function in for y1 and the answer is 31.8159 and that's going to be yards cubed because it says in the beginning that it's measured in yards per, per hour and since it's volume it's going to be yards cubed so that's part A. So for part B, we're finding an expression y of t, which is expressing the total number of cubic yards of sand on the beach at time t. So since we're finding the total number of yards, we're going to have to use the integral of both r of t and s of t. And since there is only, or since at time equals zero, there's 2,500 cubic yards of sand, we're going to also have to add that in. So y of t is going to equal 2,500, since at t equals 0 there's already 2,500 yards, plus we're going to have to take the integral of s of t, since that's what is being pumped into the beach, minus the integral of r of t, since that's what is being removed, so we have to subtract that from the total. So that was easy too, that expresses the total number of cubic yards of sand at the beach at time t, so that's why we have t here instead of actually a value for t, so we can plug that in later. So part C says find the rate at which the total amount of sand on the beach is changing at time t equals 4. So since it's amount of change, we can just use the functions given for r of t and s of t. So we're going to do s of 4 minus r of 4. And we're subtracting because r of 4 is the rate at which it's being removed. And s of, s of 4 is going to be the rate at which it's being pumped onto the beach. So, we could just put this in the calculator, but I'll write it out so it's more clear. So, so I just plugged 4 in for the equation s of t, and then we'll find the value of that, and subtract r of 4 from that. So, r of 4 will be... So this ends up being 4.6154 minus 6.5241, which will give us negative 1.9087 yards cubed per hour. So that is the rate at which the sand is, or the amount of sand on the beach is changing at t equals 4. This is our answer to that one. All right, part B. Okay, 
So now we're going to be solving for part D. And this is asking at what time for T, when T is between 0 and 6, is the sand on the beach at a minimum? And what is that minimum value? So, <clears throat> so since it could be at the minimum at 0 or at 6, we need to find for Y of 0 as well as Y of 6. And we just plug 0 in for the equation that we found in part B, and we end up with 2,500 yards cubed. And when we plug 6 into that same equation, we end up with 2,493.2767 yards cubed. So now that we know the values at y equals 0 and y equals 6, we need to find the critical number just to make sure that that is not the minimum. So to find the critical number, we need to take the derivative of y of t. So that is going to end up to being s of t minus r of t. So we're going to have to set this equal to 0 to find the critical numbers. And in order to find the critical numbers, we're going to have to use our calculator. So we already have r of t plugged in for equation 1. So for equation 2, let's go ahead and put in s of t. So 15x over 1 plus 3x. Okay, so now we can graph the two to find the point of intersection. So, well first actually, let's alter the window so that we only have from 0 to 6 for, t for x. So x minimum we'll put in as 0 and x maximum we'll put in as 6. So once the graph is finished, we're going to use the calculation function to find the point of intersection of the two graphs. So first curve here, second curve, we'll just go there. So where the two intersects, intersect, <laughs> the y val or the x value is going to be 5.1179, about. So we'll put t is approximately equal to 5.1179. So when we look at the graph, we see that there is only one point of intersection. And right here, it looks really close, but they aren't intersecting. So there's only one critical number within our boundaries. So now that we found the critical number, let's plug that back in for y of t. So we're going to have y of 5. 0.1179, and when we plug that back into the equation, we end up with 2,492.3695 yards cubed. So now that we have all three values that we're comparing, which are y of 0, y of 6, and y of 5.1179, we can see that y of 5.1179 actually did end up giving us the smallest value. So when t is equal to 5.1179, the volume of sand on the beach is at the minimum. So And since we already computed for the volume, we can just put which is 2,492.3695 yards cubed. And that's how you solve this question.